Alma and welcome to my book journey. Hi, I am so excited about this video today. This is going to be an announcement for the Back to Hogwarts Readathon. And I am so excited because this is the first time, and you see I got my little wand here. I'm probably, I, I'm gonna be flicking it all around, I'm sure this video. But this is the first readathon that I've ever participated in as a co-host. I was so excited when um, Cheryl from Candlewick Library reached out to me and asked if I was willing to be a part of this readathon. And I, I said, absolutely, yes, I would love to. And so this is going to be fun. And the reason she, one of the reasons she reached out to me was that she had heard that I had never read, I had never read a Harry Potter book. And I've seen all the movies, if you know the movies, but I had never read a Harry Potter book and I had recently picked up a book at like a library sale and, and I thought, well, hey, you know, I've always wanted to read it. I've heard, you know, so much about it that they're just such wonderful books. And so I was planning to read it probably in the fall or something. And she saw that and, and she heard about that. And so that's why she reached out to me and asked, hey, you know, do you want to join us? And so of course I said, absolutely, yes. And so I have my little guys here and my wand. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate this readathon and I wanted to share that with with you all and let you know what the prompts were that Cheryl came up with and all the things that I have written down all my notes because I want to make sure I get everything out to you all so that you make sure to participate in this readathon with us okay so first of all let me tell you who else besides myself and of course Cheryl who is the creator of this readathon she asked uh, a few more people to help out with this readathon, and that is Lucy from the Lucy Chronicles is going to be in, and she's going to be a co-host as well. And she, I hear, is a lover of Harry Potter books. And then also we have Christy A. Cole. She is going to be part of our group as well. And then Angie, that is Angie and the Great World, uh, her book channel. And I, I am going to link all of their channels below and also all their announcement videos. I know Cheryl has already got hers up because she launched hers on Harry Potter's birthday. And so she has her announcement video and which her video is really wonderful because she is very specific about everything. And I'm gonna link her video and I, I really um, would love for you to go over to her channel and watch that because she gives uh, so much more information because she is a diehard um, Harry Potter fan. So please go watch her announcement video. Okay, so. What are we going to do at this readathon? So the readathon is actually going to be the month of September because, um, as many of you know, that if you have, if you're like, if you're like Cheryl and have read all the books and things, you know that it takes place at a school. So they go back to school on September the first, and that's when we're starting this readathon, and it's going to be for the whole month of September, so September first through the thirtieth. And Cheryl came up with some really great uh, prompts, and and I'm going to post, put them right here for you, all the, um, the templates that you can pick. And each, there's four of them, and each one has the prompts. The prompts are all the same, but you're going to pick a house. So you're going to pick a house that belongs to the, um, the school that they all go to. They pick a house, evidently. And like I said, I've read the movies, read them a long time ago. But anyway, so you're going to pick a house and each one is a different color and things. I am going to pick, I have already chosen my Hufflepuff um, house. I'm going to be in that house. And then each one has the same prompts, but just different uh, colors in, in our, um, in our papers. Our papers are, our bingo boards. <laughs> I'm getting confused. Okay, so the first prompt is based on the first book, which is The Philosopher's Stone. And I didn't know this, but because the book that I bought at the, the thrift store was called The Sorcerer's Stone. And then when I saw The Philosopher's Stone, I was like, oh my goodness, did I do I have the wrong book? <laughs> but she mentioned in her video that uh, Philosopher's Stone was the original title. And when it came to America, they changed it for whatever reason to The Sorcerer's Stone. So a little bit of trivia for you. Okay, so that prompt is to read a book that has a found family or is at a boarding school. 
So that is the first prompt. The second prompt is Chamber of Secrets, and that is to read a book that has a secret in the title or secret in the plot. The third prompt is Prisoner of Az Azkaban, and that is to read a book that has an animal on the cover. Then we have Goblet of Fire, which is read a book that has a school spirit or a competition. And then the fifth one is Order of the Phoenix, which is read a book that has a secret society or an uprising. That's pretty interesting. And then number six is The Half-Blood Prince, which is the prompt is read a book that has a number on the cover or uh, there's a battle involved in the book. And then number seven is Deathly Hallows. And that is to read a book that has a quest or a journey involved in it. And then there's another prompt that's called The Cursed Child. And then that one, she just wants us to read, like to watch an adaptation of maybe a, one of the movies or play a game. And that'll count. It's not a reading prompt. It's, it's a, a participation uh, activity prompt. We're also gonna have some sprints during the month of September that Lucy is gonna host over on her channel. And right now the dates that we have are September the 4th and September the 26th. And that's gonna be 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And then we may have other sprints later on that, that Cheryl will announce during the month if, if we add any on. So hopefully we will. And we may have, um, they're thinking about doing a sprint um, in, in this month, in August, so you all can get to meet all of the hosts and, and get together and, and have a fun sprint together. So, and as soon as we find out the date for that, Cheryl will let us know. So that's, that's gonna be fun. Okay, so uh, this is really cool. So you, as you can see from the, the, um, the bingo boards, you can, if you want, you can double up on your books and things. And they don't have to be like Harry, all Harry Potter books. It can be any kind of genre, as long as they fit the prompts for you. And, but, but we have some incentive for you all for um, just to have an, a fun thing to do that Cheryl has given us to, is she is going to have a giveaway for completing a, a blackout bingo. In it. And let me tell you how you win with that. So to enter the giveaway, hmm, what you're gonna do is for you, you can't double up on the books if you wanna enter the giveaway. So each, each book, you're going to have to use a, a different book for each prompt, okay? So that's one thing to enter the giveaway each prompt. And then um, there's a center, a square, or square, <laughs> that has the HP. And so uh, Cheryl wants us to, if you're gonna do the bingo whole thing, to read a book that has an H and a P in it, or a book about magic, or let's see, let's see, read a, a book about magic or HP in the title. So either one of those two things. And then, and then you also do the bonus prompt where you watch um, a movie or play a game, and then you'll do everything. So you'll have the book, all the, the seven book prompts, the bonus prompt, and then the thing in the middle that has the HP. So, and then if you complete all that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna let Cheryl know, and I'll put the instructions in the, in the, uh, in the description below. You're gonna reach out to her in, on her Instagram account and let her know, you know, that you completed the blackout and then you'll be entered for this giveaway, which is so sweet of, of Cheryl to do. Okay, so let me think. I'm trying to think. I want to make sure I get everything. I've talked about the, the prompts, kind of went over them really quickly, um, talked about our sprints, talked about the fun giveaway that Cheryl's going to do, and then also, oh, you, well, with the, with the different houses, I think I did mention, but you can uh, pick whichever house you're going to be in, and some people right away know, okay, I'm going to be in this house, or I'm going to be in this house. Um, let me see. I, I didn't write this down. Let me see if I can remember. I know there's uh, Gryffindor, there is Slytherin, there is Ravenclaw, and there is Hufflepuff. Oh, I'm pretty good <laughs> to remember that because I, like I said, I've never read a book, read one of their books. And so Cheryl, on her channel, Cheryl does a really good uh, job of 
telling us um, like the characteristics of people in these houses. And after I watched her video, I decided to go with this uh, with the Hufflepuff because she said that they were um, their characteristics were loyalty and they're hardworking and they're welcoming and they're down to earth. So that I think I fit in with them. So that's that's who I'm going to be. I'm going to be in that house. I wanted to tell a story about um, my experience with Harry Potter. So many, many, many years ago, gosh, it's been a long time because my older kids were still in, were still in um, they might have been in middle school at this time. So it was a long time ago. But I went, uh, we did a trip uh, to see my older sister and her family. We traveled because um, they didn't live, they lived in a different state than we did at the time. And when we got there, my niece, she was reading one of the books, the Harry Potter books. So I was asking her, you know, what do you, you know, what book are you reading? And she was telling me about, you know, Harry Potter books and if I had ever read them. And I'm like, no, no, I, I don't, I don't even know if I, maybe I heard about it, but I, I hadn't read them. I was working at that time. That was not part of my <laughs> reading, reading uh, life. I was working full time. So I wasn't hardly reading any fiction books at all back then. But anyway, the movies were out at that time and she asked she asked us if we had seen any of the movies and we're like, no, hadn't seen any of the movies either. And she's like, what? And I was like, no, I haven't seen any of the movies. So she's like, well, we're gonna watch them right now. We're gonna watch them right now. So, cause she, at that point, she, they had them on um, VHS back then or it was probably VHS. I don't think DVDs might've not have been around yet. So she's like, okay, we're gonna watch them right now. So we, at, at, at that point in time, <clears throat> I think maybe it was just the first three maybe that we watched. And I do remember that she was, she was looking forward to the next book to come out. Cause I know um, that when these books originally came out, people, you know, they'd be lying, people would line up outside the bookstores for these books because, you know, they're just so beloved by people. Well, she was one of these so she you know she was couldn't wait for the next book to come out and so she introduced us to at least the movies anyway to the harry potter movies and i've always been a, a sci-fi i love sci-fi movies so I, I enjoyed them really did enjoy them and then so since then of course i have watched all of them and now you know you can watch them on streaming sometimes streaming and i don't think i've ever seen them in a theater I was trying to think I don't think I have seen them like in a theater I've only watched them you know on streaming and things like that so I do know some of the stories and it's so funny because my favorite movie of all the all of them is the third book the prisoner of Azkaban and Cheryl has a video on her channel where she talks about comparing movies to books that she's read and I remember her saying that of all the Harry Potter movies, that one was the one she didn't like, she liked the least. Uh, Cheryl, make sure on this comment below, is that true? I think that's true, that you said that one out of all of them was your least favorite. And when I saw that, I'm like, wow, that's my, like my favorite. And I think that's like a big fan favorite too, of uh, that third movie, that, um, the Prisoner of Azkaban. But in her video, she said there's so much more in the book that they could have done. And so, I, and I can see her point for that. So I'm looking forward to it, to uh, joining in on this readathon. I want to thank Cheryl for including me um, because I am not, <laughs> I am a newbie to all of Harry Potter books. So I'm, I, I'm like, I'm going in knowing like the, the overall story because I've watched the movies, but I'm looking forward to all the new things that I'm gonna learn. Because the books are always better a lot of times. The books are always better than the movies. So I am excited to learn, uh, find out new things that, you know, it's like, oh, I didn't know that, or, you know, some fun things like that. And then, like I said, we're gonna have the sprints and we can be able to talk about everything. And then, so what I'm gonna do um, later on this month, I am going to come out and let you all know what I pick for my TBR and for this um, readathon. I am I know for sure that one of the books I'm going to read is the first book because I'm going to start start it off and, and read that. I don't know if I'll get around to book two or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to, to let you all know about this readathon and hopefully you will join us if you are a big Harry Potter fan like Cheryl or if you're like me and you've never read the books 
or you've never even had a desire to read the book. And like she said, you don't have to read a Harry Potter book. You just have, you can just join in with us and, and read any book you want in any genre you want, as long as it fits the prompts and just have a fun time with us. So that is all I have for you today. I hope to, hopefully all of you will join in and just share this video with people that you know, love Harry Potter and our book readers. And I love this little wand. Ooh, so cool. <laughs> I'm just going to play with it. Maybe it'll be in all my uh, my reading videos. Actually, I can't because it's, it's on loan or I'd keep it. But that's kind of cool. Anyway, so thank you for joining me and you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.